of course always choose i'm really confused a leather boot and this is a Hello everyone, this is Shinjan. Welcome back to our channel, Shinjan and Dibanjali. And today's video is about choosing the right riding boots. Yes, it was a much tough decision to make and a much complicated one because choosing this parallel twin was a much de easier decision to make than choosing my, you know, riding boots. Now, I'm really confused. Did I make the right choice? Let's find out. So these are the options uh, which I actually have selected and uh, I bought this uh, boots uh, for my new interceptor and hopefully uh, this one will serve my purpose. Well, there are five options but definitely I will not keep five. I will keep two of them and rest I will return. But why did I choose those two? Definitely I will let you know. First of all, this is the most casual option which i have here it's the ezoc uh, branded mid top leather sneaker so you can see this has a more casual appeal to it this is nike's jordans so this is also a leather top material uh, but this is not a good shoe at all you know nike is calling it a jordan so i'm not really impressed this is the worst option which i bought so this one is definitely i'm returning this is the teak wood leather shoe and this is a very very nice shoe as you can see this is a pure leather handcrafted uh, mid top leather boot and this is a proper boot okay uh, completely in leather finish here you can see the works definitely i will show you in the close-up so now look at it here you can find this heavy detailing stitches here and you see the laces quality is also quite good the braided lace is quite nice and the leather finish is also good it's not that glossy but it has a matte finish to it now if i uh, look at the bottom portion of the sole here yeah, you can see there are rubber sole you know uh, these are the rubber sole and hopefully this is a pure material under uh, the rubber you get pure material here you can see the stitches of course these are machine stitch not hand stitch anyway so this is quite a nice boot and in the uh, sideways you are getting this zipper so it's much easy to wear this boot but uh, this is not a proper riding boot i must say so this one is also i'm returning because this is a very good formal boot you can definitely wear it with your suit blazers or any casual uh, look if you want to carry but this is not a riding boat i would say and so this that is the reason why this one is going back to the seller okay so this one is going back to the seller jordan is also going back to the seller and this isok is too casual for a riding boot and this toe section is not that sturdy and neither this back portion so this will not give you that proper safety which you actually want from a riding boat so this is the seller ke baas wapas ja hai. this looks good this is a lightweight shoe uh, with your jeans and all this one will perfectly suit the, serve the purpose but not exactly a riding boot i would call it so this is the return ja hai. now these two these two options I am keeping for this one is a woodland leather boot mid top again as you can see here the bottom portion i will definitely show you the close-up here you can see the sole is quite sturdy and gives you that rugged feel that it can take any terrain okay so whatever uh, comes it will definitely go through it so this is that kind of rugged look wala boot and yaha par the leather is very soft you know you get a very soft handful of the leather and it's quite good yaha par you are getting this beautiful laces but these are not that high quality laces like the teak wood leather one but this one of course will serve the purpose and the inner padding is also good the sole is also comfortable i wore this boot and this is quite comfortable i will show you now as you can see the look of the boot is quite nice i like this beautiful shape which is in front 
and it's quite a high rise it has the heel which will give me that extra few inches which will aid to the support or you know to hold this interceptor steady in idle conditions definitely it will help so this is the wood, woodland one so this one i am keeping and this is the hx london i think yes hx london and this is a completely new brand which i heard of rather i have seen in amazon but uh, and because of the price i just ordered it just to check it out whether uh, it is nice or not because in the pictures it was looking very nice but when i got in the hand got it in the hand it is really really nice trust me on this this is a very nice leather boot and of course it is a nice riding boot as well because you can see yahan par jo toe section hai ye bahut bahut hard hai you cannot you know press it hard so this is quite hard it will give a proper toe uh, protection and in the back portion also this heel portion is also very nice and you are getting this few inches again which is actually welcome uh, when you are riding heavy bikes so it will give those few inches to hold steady of your you know bikes in idle condition and the sole is also very very nice you can see the sole yeah it's quite nice and the stitches uh, is also very good of course these are not hand stitch of course you won't expect it uh, any hand stitch product in this price range and these are all of course machine finished but how it will stay or how long it will stay nice that only time will speak but uh, i will i'm keeping it and definitely i'm hoping that it will last long really long because it's a pure leather one this upper portion upper body is pure leather that is a very good thing and in this price this is a much welcome thing so woodland is a quite well known brand and woodland actually uh, pioneered you know this boot uh, boots in indian market long time back uh, if i may mention that maybe 15 16 years back so woodland really uh, has holded a really strong position in this boot market and till date it is quite a really nice competent boot so anyway i'm keeping this one ye bahut hi acha dekhne mein hai and this is in a black so i'm uh, actually choosing this one because it's black and this one is brown so i black and brown both the colors are covered but this tan color i don't need it because this is not a proper riding boot anyway so now coming to the question that why i did not purchase a proper riding boot maybe in this price i would have got uh, many other options which are dedicated bike riding boots why did i not purchase that only one uh, reason uh, the only reason which i actually uh, have thought of uh, that maine wo boot isliye nahi liya because riding boots mein samne mein aapka proper yahan pe aap dekh sakte hain आप अगर कोई भी राइडिंग बुट चूज करें उसके सामने वाला पोर्शन में स्टील का एक प्रोटेक्शन रहता है स्टील का एंड उसके कारण ही मैंने राइडिंग बुट्स का ऑप्शन नहीं लिया है बिकॉज अगर इन केस आप कहा कहीं पे हार्ड फॉल होते हैं एंड दैट स्टील यू नो बेंड्स देन इट विल डायरेक्टली हिट योर टो मतलब आप इन द बूट यू विल गेट अ फ्रैक्चर इन योर टो that is not good at all instead this leather hardened leather finish is quite good and this really holds your ankle in a very steady position of course always choose the right size that is very important for a proper protection because if you go for bigger size then your ankle will just move around and you will not get a proper hold of your uh, leg Uh, with the boot the connection will be lost rather or not proper rather so the protection will be not optimum but choosing the right size really helps a lot and gives you a better protection so my size is 42 euro or you can say 8 uk so i don't know your size but uh, links are given in the description box below for all the boots you can definitely click those links and check the current prices and your sizes if the, those are available or not so only that reason uh, coming back to the point the reason why i did not choose a proper mainstream riding boots is because of the front uh, steel protection so that really can 
hurt your leg in case of any hard fall so hopefully this video was helpful and uh, it was really hard for you know uh, it was really hard and i was really confused uh, to choose our proper riding boot i never thought ke mujhe itna zyada confused hona padega to choose a riding boot because interceptor 650 lene ke time mujhe itna sochna nahi pada tha buying a bike was much easier than buying a proper riding boot milte hain agle video mein peace out